While Hassana was pregnant with her boyfriend's daughter, she discovered that he was sending money via Cash App to random women he met online. Oh. And that's when she began to suspect that he was cheating on her. Her boyfriend, Marquise, admitted to sending the money in return for sexy videos and even admitted to cheating on her one time. But he says he did this because he believes all women are cheaters, <laughs> including Hassana. In fact, he thinks so low of her that he doesn't believe he's the father of their six-month-old daughter. When did you suspect that he was cheating on you? Um, while I was pregnant, he just started acting different, different arrogant. When did you get pregnant? Quick, like pretty quickly within our relationship. So when yep. you start seeing, right after you start seeing each other, yeah, you got pregnant. Yeah, we, we got pregnant pretty quickly. And quick. then when you got pregnant, you were saying he... He got irritated quickly with me. He was just very arrogant about things. He didn't want to spend time with me. You know, most pregnancies, people are rubbing stomachs and rubbing feet. He did none of that. And when someone came to me about his actions, I went through his phone. I found out that he was cash at women. He was sending nudes. He was talking to exes. He sent my nude photos of me out while I was pregnant. So it's me doing sexual acts while I'm pregnant with a belly. Um, he was denying my child to other people. So the whole baby shower, people giving us gifts, I never got that. It was just embarrassing to me. Our family is blended. My family, his family. Like, I, I just never understood what I did so wrong while I was pregnant to deserve any of that. I, I, I really loved him. I really did. He was you, my everything. Do you love him now? I still love him. It's just different now that everything has happened. He's sending videos and pictures of you having sex. Who's he, who's he sending that to? It was to other women that he was talking to on Snapchat. So when me and another one of the women got into it, she went and took those videos of me pregnant and posted them online. So then she sent me a screenshot, you know, of how many people viewed it. I called him and I begged him to please talk to her to get him to take him down, and he didn't. And instead, he apologized to the woman for me confronting her about it. Are you still with this guy? Yeah. When you hear him saying that he cheated on you, did you know that? <laughs> when I found out that he cheated, I found out because the woman told me. So I didn't tell him anything. I waited till he was asleep to go through his phone. So he was going to lie, lie, lie. I found out that the day he cheated, he came home, he didn't take a shower, he slept with her, and came home and slept with me. <laughs> so, my pregnancy was so high risk, I had to have stitches on my cervix. It's an open wound. So he could have brought me back an STD, he could have got me infected. I could have lost my life, my daughter could have lost his Why life. Why are you still with this guy? <laughs> I mean, you know, you, like you said, this guy endangered your life. Yeah. Well, you wanted him to take a lie detector test, but only for the last three months. Why, is, why only um, the last three months? We've been kind of back together for the last three months. So I knew in the past about the cheating and the cash shopping. But as far as right now, on starting the next level of our lives, it's just... What is the next level of your life? Um, Shouldn't it be... Uh, child support, visitation. Yeah. <laughs> My wife's telling me that he didn't put the baby on his insurance. No. Um, I'm currently in debt for her medical insurance. Well, I'm saying, when you have a baby that has all these yeah. medical problems and is and she in the hospital... She was born at 25 weeks early. 25. And she was on a ventilator. <laughs> 25 weeks premature. She was on a ventilator. She couldn't breathe on her own. Oh, my God. <laughs> She couldn't breathe on her own. She couldn't eat on her own. She had all these tubes down her throat. She had an IV in her scalp. It's the worst thing because we didn't know whether she was going to live or die. And while she's in the hospital, he's out having sex with other people, and I'm at home with our kids. I've been, been around a long time. This is just mistreatment. And, but it's at a level of such mistreatment that it's shocking to me. I'm amazed. And I'm amazed that you put up with it. Let's find out where this is going to go. Let's meet Marquise.
I didn't talk desire to be that. cheated on, Marquise. I didn't desire DNA to be embarrassed in front of our family, yeah. in front of anybody. Our daughter needs you. Our kids need you. But the me. way you, you treated about? me, but the way you treated me while our daughter was in our stomach, Marquise, I didn't desire to be cheated on. I you knew I you. had surgery, I and you still you. went to go sleep with somebody else. You could have gave me an STD. Yeah. Being good to me doesn't mean putting just a roof over my head. That means respecting me. That means not cheating. That means not sending people money. you, why you still with me then? If I'm not good to you, then why are you still here after a year? If you don't love me, why are you still here? What you mean? If you don't love me, <laughs> if, you don't love me do if you're going to cheat on me, then why are you still here? If you didn't want our daughter, then why be around her? You literally no. told your ex-girlfriends, you told our no. family, you told everyone no. she wasn't yours. I and said, your excuse... mama's baby, daddy's maybe. Well, and that's yours. what it is. And we don't say We don't know that. But we don't say She's yours. And there's nothing else to it. She's your child. I want an apology, and I want you to apologize for everything that you put me through. She says that you cheated on her. You spun I did a woman. Cheat. That you sent videos of her having sex with you it was, while yeah, she was pregnant. Video, yeah, I sent and some then video. another woman posted online because her and the woman got into it though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But why would you send a video of she's your woman, right? Yeah, I mean to an extent, yeah. <laughs> to an extent, you know what I'm saying? Hell, I don't do relationships, though, but, but she knew that. She know I don't do relationships. If you don't do relationships, why are you bringing kids in the world? Hey, kids have me. You know what I'm saying? Kids have me. You feel me? So, kids, kids happen if you're not responsible. I take but, care of mine. But, OK, you take care of your kids, but you're so disrespectful to her, you call all women sluts. Well, they is. what it is. We can lie about it. All women cheat. Some just sneak All in women them. cheat? All women. You know, A-L-L, capital letters. You hear me? Yeah, all women cheat. No. Yeah, they do. Hey, go, go through your girl phone, boy. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be on the show, too. You know you're kind of a clownish figure, right? Hey, well, whatever, whatever you want to call me. I think you a clown. You don't even know me, partner. I take care of mine. You're right. I, I, I don't know you, but I know what she's told me. I know what you're telling me now. And you have children, right? Boys or girls? Yeah, two girls, three boys. Two girls and three boys. Yeah, for sure. OK. So, you know, you have to think about your daughters as they grow older, right? Women go be women. OK. But what these, do you mean? But these are your daughters. It don't change. I got aunties. I got, I got family members. But women going to be but women. These, are, these, these women are from you. Yeah. You're their dad. You're going to call them sluts? Hey, a woman is a woman. You want me to say it one more time? <laughs> What you mean? You want to tell your story on the Steve Wilco Show? Contact the show now at 1-888-STEVE-07. You know, it's one thing that he's doing this and mistreating you, OK? But when you hear, like, oh, my god, my children, you know, I, I, I'd die for them. I'd, I'd go to prison for them. I'd do whatever I had to do to protect my kids. But for to be a father figure and be like this to your daughter? Come on, man. They're not sluts. They're not sluts. Let's see what it is. They're not sluts. No, no, if they're sluts, your mama's a slut. They're yes. not sluts. And she's a woman. You know, when I speak with you, you seem <laughs> well, like I'm an mercy. intelligent woman. And I wonder how you would allow a man to speak about you, speak about your daughter, treat you this way. Why would you do that? I don't know my zone. I mean, I'm done talking with this because this is a waste of time. You know. Yeah. He he wants to be a clown. He wants to live his life like a joke. Then that's him. He can I'm do not going to waste him. But that why I was. But it's more important. Your feelings don't matter. My feelings don't matter. And none of that matters. All that matters is that DNA test. But what you said about our kids is so disrespectful. And you know I don't play like that. Nobody. Be, no, it's not life. Yeah, that's, that's you. Life. No, Anybody that's with life. common sense is not going to yeah. sit there and say that about kids. You better hope this DNA test comes back that he's not the dad. <laughs> it might. That's right. That's why we here. Because you got down too. That's what, that's what it is. OK, so. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. Marquise um, came here and he admitted he has cheated on you and engaged in intercourse with three women while with you. Uh, he stayed days engaged in physical sexual acts, not intercourse with five women while he was with you. Most recent time he had intercourse with a woman 
was while you were pregnant in May of 2023 with their daughter. No, that's not what I said. That's exactly Three what different said. women. No, I said And you May, just tried to say it was, it was May what? of 2023. Yeah, but she was, the baby was already here. It was the end of May. He was, she so was born three women. Fourth. Three women while we were together. But I'm talking like, you know, but, but the question he asked me was, okay, but then we the go, whole time that oh, we were so, together. So we go on and we ask him, in the past three months, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman besides Hasana? He answered no. <laughs> While in a relationship with Hasana, have you had sexual intercourse with more than the three other women besides Hasana? He answered no. While in a relationship with Hasana, have you had physical sexual contact and X with more than five other women besides Hasana? He answered no. The results came back the same to all three questions, and it came back that Marquise told the truth. Yeah, but he did have intercourse with three other women. He had sex with them, so. But we had breaks in between that too. Yeah. It was only one time. While we were together, back. I'm sure. They asked you why we were together, Marquis. I'm sure, you have so a I passed lot the test because the way he asked the question, like I said, it was one behind your back, and there was, you know, who that was and what that was. So. Okay, uh, you took a lie detector test, and we asked you. Don't get quiet now, y'all. While in a relationship with Marquis, have you ever had sexual intercourse with any men? Besides Marquise, you answered no. While in a relationship with Marquise, have you had any physical sexual contact with any men besides Marquise? You answered no. Uh, the results came back the same to each question, and it came back that Hasana told the truth. <laughs> he questions whether he's the father to your daughter. He came here, he took a DNA test, and the results are, Marquise, you are the father of Asana's father. Okay. Apologize. Sorry. Apologize to I'm me. Sorry. Apologize. I want an apology because she didn't deserve that. I didn't either, Marquise. You can't do I that. love you and you do stupid <laughs> all the time. But this right here, bro, is top tier because she didn't deserve any of that. As much as she went through, she fought to be here, bro. She did. And you were I the said, cause of that. No, apologize. I wasn't the cause of that. Apologize. I told you, I'm sorry for that. That's my baby. And when we get home, bro, you need to apologize to her. And we got to figure something out. Because ain't no way in the world you get ready to have sick sex with three different women and do all this, and I don't get to do nothing. You can. I've told you. I will. Okay. I will. It goes, I do will. whatever makes you happy. If you want to, I don't care. I'll do whatever enjoy it. makes you happy. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're done with you. Get the off my stage. <laughs> So we do a thing on this show. It's called pick a door time. And it's kind of the fork in the road moment for you. And you go out that door and you say, you know, I made a mistake. I rushed into a relationship. I had a child with a guy that turned out to be a clown who doesn't care about me, who disrespects me, who came on national TV and talked about me like I'm a doormat. Or if you really think you're gonna go back and try to work it with him, then you go out that door. And we know. And then the show's over. You either go out that door or you go out that door. 